If anybody can say, is this Jesus? If anybody can judge me, is this Jesus? You see, those Pharisees were no good. Even they were up to no good. And they wouldn't recognize some of those, those men. Saying, you accuse me. You accuse me. When you're in the act as well. Jesus looked at her. And he says, woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? And she says, no one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. You see, Jesus did not come to judge. He didn't c come to condemn sinners. He came to seek and save those that are lost. He's come to save us. Jesus has come to save us. He's not going to condemn you. But we need to understand that sin separates man from God. And Jesus is the one, the only one between heaven and earth who's paid the price for you. He's the only one who's come to save you. We just, about 15 minutes ago, just uh, met this lady who was, uh, who was addicted to, to uh, alcohol. And we just spoke with her and we asked her if we could pray with her. And she actually accepted Jesus into her life. And we commanded that, that addiction to come out. And it's gone. That addiction's gone. I was addicted to gambling most of my life. And when I accept Jesus into my life, the Holy Spirit came in and evicted the things that are not of God. All that, the badness went out. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, Behold, all things have passed away and all things become new. When you accept Jesus into your life, you become a new creature. It's a new start in life. He wipes the slate clean. The Bible says that Jesus is just and faithful to forgive. His blood washes us whiter than snow. It's his blood that cleanses us from unrighteousness. And he'll forgive you if you're willing to confess. Jesus will forgive you. He's the only one who can save you. Miracles will happen in now. Jesus can set you free from anything, anything that's holding you back, anything that's got a hold on you. Jesus can set you free, he's the only one. When I was addicted to gambling, this, I wanted so much not to be addicted. I, used, I built up loads of debts on credit cards and loads to feed that addiction. And it was only Jesus who could set me free. So there's some things you can't do in your power that only God can do. And he can set you free now, Jesus can do it. If he set me free from an addiction to gambling, he can set you free. He just set that woman free from addiction to alcohol. I've seen people's legs grow and I've prayed for them. If you've got any type of sickness or disease, Jesus can heal you right now. It doesn't matter what it is. If you've got cancer, Jesus can heal you right now. He's already paid the price for all sin and sickness. It says that Jesus was, has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. So if you want to know Jesus personally, and not just like in a religious way where you go to a church, you can know him personally. Jesus didn't reside in churches, he resides in people. When he spoke to the woman in Samaria, the Samaritan woman, he said the day will come when people will worship me in spirit and in truth, and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Jesus comes to reside on the inside. It's the Holy Spirit. And you can know him today, you can know him personally. So we're giving out some free newspapers, we've got some leaflets. If anybody needs any help, just come and speak to us and we'll pray for you.